Greetings everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me back here in Old World Blues, playing as a Nuka World Raider. So, uh, I've already played as a Minuteman before, but the mod we're using for the special East Coast Nations is of course East Coast Rebirth mod, or sub mod, which will be the first link in the description below, but let us begin with three gangs. The Nuka World Raiders are comprised or composed of three unique gangs, each of which has their own skills to bring to the table. And we start off, as you can tell, with three divisions, and they'll be led by nobody except William Steele. More attack, more defense, less supply consumption, setting us up. Cool. And, uh, Connecticut, huh? Let's see. NFNuke.1000.D. Cool. The gangs of Nuka World. The ruins of Nuka World have, after the world, after the war, became a small, small town and trading hub. That's where we come in. Overboss Coulter has united the three gangs with the promise of looting and pillaging this once peaceful town. The Pack. The Pack is the most animalistic of the three gangs. They are savage butchers, and their leader is the meanest and toughest. Their members are vicious and brutal, and if wild, but they have no patience for anything outside combat. Their members will be useful. We lose organization, get more attack and defense, and lose research time. The Disciples. The Disciples are a gang of ruthless and sadistic raiders whose motivation is that of pure brutality. They are known for their extreme bloodlust, but strange disappearances tend to occur while they're around. A terrifying group, more division speed, less monthly population, as well as the Operators. The Operators are different from their cousin gangs, where the other gangs seek violence for their own sake. The Operators are more interested in the acquisition of caps. They are similar to an old world crime syndicate or mafia, and they're good at making money and keeping to the shadows, however. They're a bit less enthusiastic for war than the other gangs. That will make us money, so less war support, more land at attack, and more caps income and caps. Cool. How about the big boss? The Nuka World Raiders were united and formed by Overboss Coulter with the help of Porter Gage. Cool, and we get 1.5 something political power, and we are currently. Are we losing stability? Yes, we are. Ineffective but strong, which is nice. This is very nice. Now, I've not played this group off screen yet, so we'll see what happens with these guys. Oh, oh look at this. Uh, disable that. We can do that stuff. Tributize. Let's see if we can just tributize somebody. Look at this. Influence of the Raiders. Overseer boss. In order to pillage the settlers and take over Nuka World, the gangs needed a leader. Overseer boss, Coulter became the leader and proved his worth by performing a mighty feat. He beat the biggest, baddest Deathclaw. He knocked the boss's heads together. He found a massive treasure. Hmm. I kind of like all these. Monthly population. It's not too much. Not really too important to me. Stability is pretty good to get, though. Efficiency growth. Technically, that increases your output, and we don't have that much output to begin with, even though we're already pretty maxed out for that, so... He beat the bosses, and Stafford's rejected, Nuclear Cast rejected, as well as Connecticut, and Minutemen. So be it. With making camp. As we set up camp in the outskirts of Nuclear World, we decide to wear our immediate priorities late, and also we're using the State Chapter Tool mod, and play other peace conferences. But, oh well. Alright, so curve the influence. Some influence, some, some, some. They're all vying for control and wage a more diplomatic war for influence. Okay, kind of cool. Didn't... I don't know how this is going to turn out, but we'll see. And when we arrived outside Nuka World, we had to figure out how we'd prepare to expand into the park and take over the town. While they are weak and pathetic settlers, we shouldn't underestimate them and their defensive advantage. To ensure that we'd easily wipe out the settlers when we arrived, we immediately took as many sets as possible. That's kind of nice. Set up weapon workshops. I like that. Or build a camp for slaves working. Let's go with weapons. I like weaponry. Now, let's see, we can get some slaves, we can make the slaves work, infrastructure, ooh, family radio, and we need more bodies for battle, the moment you've all been waiting for, stick together, ooh, fragile alliance, come heck or high water, look inwards, okay, screw Coulter, let's see, the end of the gauntlet, a civil war probably break out soon as the gangs start to take control for themselves, the situation will only get more volatile, we'll need to resolve this stand up before the gang, any gang becomes too powerful, kill Coulter, keep the new meat, Retire the new meat. Um, uh, uh, hmm. That's kind of different. I don't know. Okay, what do we have down here? Galactic heroes. Blood and sand. What's over here? Take care of Connecticut. Okay, so we can't go to war with the Republic of Connecticut. Work with New York or eat the Big Apple. Okay, that's kind of cool. But I guess for now, what else do we get around? Parlor? These are actually pretty darn quick. Ooh, I like this one. And we need to eat radio, right? Radar? Radio radar stuff? Radar stations? Nuka Market? Um, workshops are nice. Experiments. I like experimenting. Let's see. Ooh, more population. Slave fighters. That's not too bad. Um, let's, go, let's just do a town for raiders. We control Nuka Town. A former theme park world after the Great War became a prosperous trading hub. Well, until we came along, of course. Now, can we go to war with nu Nuka Lurk cast? Maybe. We only have three divisions. We are trying to make more divisions here, too. We need some more scrap, though. So, can we trade for any of it? 
Eh, I can trade the forge a little bit for it. I don't mind trading one away. We're only trying to build more civvies, and it's going to take forever to do it anyway, so... Why not? Do we have a Wargo for the Nuka Lurk? Yes, we do. We eventually get over here to the operators, in which we need to get to this one. We must look inwards, keep the new meat, retire the new meat. Because this is unhistorical, if you like to read about corruption, Nuka Roll, please go right ahead. This happens, you know, every campaign, so just lose some political power. Um, I think... I'm not sure. I'm not sure which one is historical or not. So I just want to keep the guy we have here for now. So we have only two cultural policies. Okay. And one of these guys is supposed to give us, I think, more weekly stability. Right. Ooh, more population would become very very helpful. But let's go ahead and grab more bodies for battle. I want to stick together. Maybe end of the gauntlet. Gauntlet. Oh, the pack start the gauntlet. The pack will the moderate increase. Okay, let the operators begin. End of the gauntlet. Okay. That's interesting, huh? Monthly population, division, organization, research speed, war support. That's not bad. How do we get to this one? Okay, so we need the family radio. Okay, so we need the family radio, so we need to do that one. This is Radio Raider Radio. Hey, bad word, or a-hole, you're listening to Radio Raider Radio. Yet another anonymous note. Dear Overboss, if you're listening to this, you're dumber than I thought. Wait, what? Is it, what is that even supposed to mean? But seriously, is there... Ooh, I love floggers, especially those who flog slaves, but... Chief of the Army. Um, yeah, we're losing stability. I don't like losing stability every week. What is this? He beat the bosses, which is good. All stonks are very nice as well. Aggressive attacker? Because when I played as a Minuteman... They had the option of getting more weekly stability due to um, just their, you know, ministers and such. So, all right, raid the countryside. We could use the money to do that. Curb the gang's influences. Every gang will have a small decrease in influence. It's not bad, maybe. But I was pretty sure there was some group here that could help lower... Will help stop us from lowering our stability. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really seeing it too much here. That's not very good for us. Defend. Just five Wargos times. Uh, no, that's not you. No, that's not you either. Yeah, it's not here. Well, then. Because I know these guys get it, but okay. Well, that's not very good for us, then. Nuka Cola Family Radio. Turns out there's some other radio station transmitting Nuka from, from Nuka World. It's absolute garbage, but it seems to draw plenty of potential slaves and recruits. Alright, so if that's the case, we'll keep making more divisions. I guess we'll start justifying maybe on these guys? It's going to take a long time anyway, so we might as well, right? Um, I kind of want to get the disciples to prepare the tunnels. No. I kind of want the packs with the gauntlet, because we've already lost some organization. I think it'd be good to get more organization and maybe a little bit more research speed, perhaps? So... I think that would be a good thing to do. Yeah. Stick together. Nope. I think we'll go with this one. So we want the pack to get a little bit more influence. So then we can do that one. And then we can do this one. Uh, yep. Cool. So, clearing out the tunnels. There's a series of access tunnels running underneath the park. Apparently, they were originally for employees to move around without being seen. Some of the members of the gangs have some plans for these new tunnels, of course. Oh, look. Nuka World is a trade node. Nice. Alright, we currently get 1.61 political power. Even though it doesn't say we're losing weekly stability. I mean, ineffective but strong. Is he so ineffective that when he tries to lose weekly stability, that he actually doesn't? That's not bad, then. We need to go well equipped army, but I'm going to think I'm going to grab... Uh, Conventional warfare, it seems like we're raiders, really, so I want to go with military theorists, realistically, so let's go with that one. I'm not really sure which doctrine we're going to go down first, but it feels like we're raiders, but let's grab this stuff first. Secret language, reference manuals. Hey, look, another division, good. Hopefully trying to fight the Marlocks is not going to be a bad opportunity or bad situation for us. That'd be quite bad. Now let's grab a field marshal, Henry Coburn. Coburn. Nice. Um, I'm also going to be using infantry for this one. Clearing out the tunnels would be nice. I do want to get Savage Leader, so I'll get some more. That and that. Thank you. And 
Let's go with the pack start the gauntlet. Every gang wants to build the gauntlet as a sign of prestige and influence. If we let the pack begin work, perhaps that'll keep them in line and even draw them to new technologies. This means the gauntlet will probably be filled with animals and monsters of all sorts. Not bad. Assist the pack. That's probably one assist the pack. Yeah. So they have moderate influence and they have some. Cool. Um, raid, raid. Ah, uh, your rating's okay. So I guess we're really not losing any stability, so that's okay. Traps and turrets. We do have to decide how we want to fill in the first section of the gauntlet. The operators have already taken some initiative, but we must cause more violence and more blood. Nice. And we have a whole one civilian factory going. Oh, look at that. Monthly population, better radio, traps and turrets, the maze death trap. Well, after we read about reference manuals. So because it sounds like we're raiders, I think asymmetric warfare might be the best for us to go. Hmm, recruitable population. Is it worth going down this way? Ancient tactics, wasteland tactics. That's, that's up for militia. Infantry does get some more reconnaissance. Enforcers, you get 20% more breakthrough. 8% more soft attack. You don't get any more... What are, what are locals? Uh, that's more militia and law keepers. That doesn't help us with infantry then. So realistically then, ancient tactics maybe get more organization, which is very good. Our entire army gets more breakthrough. Walking infantry get more defense. The legion? Huh. Well, uh, I'm not really sure which one we should do. Because I don't like wasteland tactics now. Hmm. If I want to go wasteland tactics, I feel like we should go with th this assault formation. Maybe we'll go that way. I'll we'll do asymmetric warfare still. We'll try that one. But we'll go the Legion way, because when's the last time I actually went the Legion way? The first section of the gauntlet. Before even getting into the Axis tunnels, we have all sorts of fun stuff waiting for everyone who takes the gauntlet. The operatives have taken the initiative to begin loading up traps and turrets for anyone coming through this first section, but the disciples and the pack have some ideas too. Uh, let's see, the operators have a moderate increase. The pack will have a small increase. Throw everything we have at them. This should be fun. Every game will small increase. Lots of turrets and traps. Okay. Moderate increase and a small increase. Or everyone gets a small increase. Throw everything we have, because I don't want... Wait, the pack has been destroyed. Wait, what? I... Uh... Oh, wait, why? They had... They had been... Had a moderate influence, right? Um... This might be a little buggy, maybe. But the maze death trap. The access tunnel is led through a large room that the disciples have already begun turning into a small maze. We must decide how we'll fill up this maze to keep things challenging. Outpost construction speed goes up. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not sure if I really understand that part. I, we were trying to, I mean, it doesn't really matter to me too much, but like, hmm, uh, I'm kind of questioning that now. Um, it's not like these guys are that great either, so. But, uh, secret language is good, but still, like, um, I thought I wanted to influence them, but hey, whatever path we go is whatever path we go, right? The Gauntlet May. Shortly after the access tunnels, there's a large room that we can rig up someone, and the disciples had the genuine idea, or genius idea, that if we fill it with a maze, and everyone thought that it would be hilarious. Well, the operators didn't laugh, but we think they found it hilarious. What will this maze be filled with? Savage animals and beasts, lots of turrets and traps, throw everything we have at them, this should be fun. I want to see if we can increase the influence of the pack, maybe? Um, destroy no influence. Some okay, this is. I don't think this is working well. Okay, pit of the doom. A large pit has been discovered in the access tunnels, in which a lies a nest of marlocks already prepared by the pack. We have to choose how we'll make the pit more exciting, though. Okay, even more consumer goods. I like that. We have 173 caps. That's not bad. We could use more manpower, though. So military setting bonuses. Thank you. Capture the warrant, and I think I want to go with Mr. Five Percent already because we're already lacking good stuff here. And eventually, uh, we are currently at what? Mercenary Primus. Mm, well, that gives us what? 5%. Hurts our attack and defense. Yeah, that's nice and all. I don't see Mercenary Primacy here, though. To be honest, we probably go with Raider Bands, maybe? We get more, uh, you know, population, but we get less... We get more attack, more population. 
Yeah, this is weird, but the Marlurk Pit. After getting through the maze, the contestants will find themselves in a pit, large pit that helpfully, or hopefully, the pack is already stocked with Marlurks as the breeding ground. These Marlurks seem perfect, but the operators and the disciples both want their self set up too. Uh, why not both? Have the corpses of the previous contestants thrown at them? Or have a trap door leading out? Why not both? Why not both? Does this influence anybody? No? Some influence? Okay, doesn't really matter, but the end of the gauntlet. The gauntlet comes out into an old metal rink for bumper cars. The games have even more ideas for what they can put into this room. Cool. And I think up next, I don't remember, do these guys, I think these guys have armor, don't they? They probably have armor. Yeah, Marlux I think have armor, so the next thing we gotta get after seed selection really is anti-tank. It's a little bit ahead of time, but that's totally okay since it doesn't look like they have a lot of divisions, but... It's best to be prepared as much as possible. Do we have any spare guns? Yes, we do. We actually have quite a few spare guns, which is pretty nice. Uh, that's a case. We're not making these yet. Just go down to one. The final stage. The gauntlet has, some, has to end somewhere, and that somewhere is apparently this weird middle rink. The gangs all had excellent plans for what to put in this room, but they were all overruled by overboss Coulter. Coulter is insisting that we're allowing them to finish off whoever comes with the gauntlet in a completely rigged fight. Unfortunately, this may take, make them hard to dispose of if we decide we don't like this, where this is going. He can't do that. Shoot him or something. He's a boss. All gangs lose too. Oh, uh, you can't do that. Shoot him or something. <laughs> He's the boss. The more bodies for the battle. While we are expecting the settlers to be weak and pathetic, it can't hurt to have some backup, right? Or better, people whose lives we can risk for us. There's a group of mercenaries called the Gunners who will help, apparently help us fight. As long as they get a share of the loot. So, we get two more divisions and 250 things of infantry equipment. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, I don't know about that. They have some influence. Uh, it's hard to tell. Small decrease in influence. Is that is that good to do? Because then we have to do the moment you've all been waiting for. When we took over Nuka World, the settlers who f survived fled into the other parks. We'll have to make sure none of them are still alive and claim the parks for ourselves. Oh boy. Oh boy. And the Brand Bradburton Amphitheater. Biz Top Mountain. And the Palo. Oh, we could use that, definitely. Our government. Click N words, keep the new meat, or retire the new meat. Wait, retire, keep the new meat. Oh, there's, there's looking words. Okay, that's good. Because I want to come down here and I want to go to war as fast as possible. I know I didn't have to manually justify on them, but at this point. Oh, wait, black's mags? Mags black. Uh, okay. Very weird. Yeah, we're definitely going to need that. Mm. Economic advisors. Da 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 da. No, nothing really interesting here. Uh, friends in high places, camp pushers, not bad. Daily physical power gain, I like that. But anything else down here? Not too much, no. Aggressive attack, lose defense. I don't want to lose defense. But I like getting more attack. I want to wait and see how the Marlurks react to us. I want to know how strong they are before we do anything else. So when you guys do make your divisions, please go right there. And make yourselves just a little bit stronger. Anything here? No, we do not. That sucks. Six divisions is not bad. Oh, they have four divisions themselves. Which is not good. The moment you've all been waiting for. Well, we'll see. Greater expansion. I do want this one, but we might need more defense for now, just because they might be attacking very harshly. Open traders isn't bad. So let's save our political power and see what happens. Does this... anything? No? And I do want to go stick together for now. We lose even more daily political power, which sucks. But I guess both sides lose political power, but stick together. Coulter's the one who's pulled us together with Porter Gage's help, and he's the one who led us to take Nuka World. Even if he's slowed down lately, he's our leader, and we should give him another chance. This, of course, is likely to worsen friction between the gangs, however, so. Ragtag Candle Shop, very cool. Um, just in case, then, I'll curb the, the influence, maybe. I don't think that did anything. Well, at least one of the gangs is completely gone. That's nice. Yeah, four divisions. How much manpower do they have? Because they do get... They lose seven... Oh, they got a lot of eggs. With their... Nmukala... Nmukala... Urk... Leader... Less manpower every week. They have five divisions. Oh, they don't have that much, which is good. Good for us. Three weeks for warrior training. Not bad. And then come heck or high water. Tensions between the gangs are coming to a head. They are consistently jostling against one another, even as culture tries to keep them together. We're going to have to accept that the gangs are different before we make things better. Alright. Well, I guess we'll stop training and see if these guys start attacking us. And if we can touch them or beat them up or whatever. Can we actually win here, maybe? Hopefully. Let's hope, 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 hope. Oh, uh, maybe not. They are armored. Ah, that sucks. 
Yeah, attacking seems like going to be like a waste of time then. Don't attack then. Entrench yourselves. Profits from the drug trade. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. Pass me a hit. Nice. Warrior training is good. And it, it is not quite the next year yet. Get some more construction speed. And once we get that, we're going to produce that as much and as fast as possible. And we'll see what happens. All right. So, um, honestly, with this one, I don't like losing that attack and defense. It's good for consumer goods, but I'm just going to go jump to this one just because, uh, well, I don't want to lose any more attack and defense. And we get more population, so I think overall that's a little bit better. Asymmetric warfare seems pretty good. Oops. I pressed enter a few too many times. And we'll go with foraging, even though this one gives us more reinforce rate and less minimum training level. Here's slightly more recruitable population factor and better out of supply. Not bad. Cool. Look inwards. Coulter is beginning to realize what being a tr true leader truly entails. He may be ineffective, but he's learning how to bring the gangs together and may even become an effective leader in the future. Cool. So they're still not attacking. Makes sense. Maybe some oversized wise. I usually do that one because I like that one a little bit more. Um, no, not too much here. War measures. We can kind of wait. Did we get... Oh, gliders. Actually, I should have been making gliders a while ago. It's fine. And... We should get some anti-tank. And once we get anti-tank, then we can probably beat them up. Hopefully. There we go. Nice. That'll be very, 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 very helpful. Motorized flight. Pretty good. How would we make it each week? Not much. You know what? We don't even have time for that right now. Screw that. Screw that, too. Three a week. It's going to cost us ten to get up there. Just, well, it's not really ready yet for us to do that yet. We do get some more army XP, though. So We're only 14 combo with. Give you 24 piercing. That's not bad. And there we go. Look inwards. And now we're out... Actually, not that much anti-tank, which is pretty good. All right, so let's get some more military factories immediately, so with the parlor. The operators have been eyeing a location for their own base of operations, a ruined restaurant called the parlor. The operators have even got plans to set up a weapons and armor workshop inside, so long as we help clear it, which would definitely help us out get even more of this here. So that would be very, 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 very good. Um, what am I doing this one, maybe, for more stability? I like stability quite a bit. If the influence of the gangs doesn't matter, then we could probably close that one. And flogger. This stuff doesn't matter. Cam pusher. This one's not super important, but it's still somewhat important. Command. Let's get some more attack. Cool. Um, that's nice and all, but our government? I like more political power. We've chosen a leader for our government. They'll lead us to a new future for Nuka World. Our empire awaits. Cool. We can clear out the rest of the camp then. And now we get a little bit more every. Oh, they made another division. That's not good. But are they out of manpower? No, they look like they're getting maybe a little bit more. Are you still eating stuff? Yes, they are, which is a good thing for us. 312 max, 312. Hopefully they'll drop down a little bit more, 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 more. We've got 10 days left for woodworking and our government. Nice. Lucy's government? Oh, so we can't do all these. That kind of sucks. Coulter's government controls the gangs. Stop accumulating influence and competing for stuff. Oh, get more political power. I kind of like that one too, but it can be better. Oh, we could just go to war with them anyways. Oh, what the heck? Well, that sucks. Oh, the Sons of Liberty as well. Not bad. Nuka World Empire. That's kind of cool. The Operators, the Disciples, the Pack. Shame the Operators. Okay, so you get to go with them anyways. Okay, that's interesting. The Bears Government. Gover Commander Bear. Mercenary Empire. Huh. Alright, well, that's different. If that's the okay, case, Civilians, Arms Workshops... I suppose we can go and get some more stability with the Bradburton Amphitheater. The pack have already begun setting up their crew at camp and the remains of Bradburg Amphitheater. We can help them clear it out and they'll be less likely to cause unrest. We'll have even more space to build some of our own stuff in. Nice. Uh, that's the case, we're going to go here then. Are we lacking any more? Can we actually maybe try another attack maybe? It's three divisions though. That's pretty bad. Yeah, I don't think we can do it yet. Are we able to pierce them at all yet? How much armor do they have? Yeah, no, there's no way we can pierce them. That really sucks. Hey, but their manpower is still going down, so that'll help out. What working? Let's grab some more local workspaces. That'd be good. Oh, man. Oh, we cleared out the galactic zone. Oh, the 
oh, okay, that sounds good. like fun. We'll try that one, and then the dry uh, rock gulch. Why not? And let's keep doing Coulter's government. Despite his flaws, Coulter has proven himself the most capable leader for a gang of raiders. He will lead our gangs to dominance over the surrounding region. Sounds good to us? Safari adventure? Why not? Oh, we need more vampire. Whoopsie. Oh, we're going to need a little bit of water for this, huh? 1.32. What are we going down here? 1.32. Eh, it's still better to do it like that. We only need 53 left. Um, one's over there. How we go over there, then? Because maybe we'll attack here first. Coulter's government's good. Motorized flight. Coulter controls the gang. Uh, Coulter has to assert his dominance over the gangs. Only when they are no longer squabbling and infighting can we take our place as the rulers of an empire. Pretty much. Maybe get some plane fighters? I doubt we have... Yeah, we have no air bases here, which sucks. Alright, so I want to wait until we get a little bit more anti-tank. That'd be helpful. The Kitty Kingdom. I think I need more manpower. Are we still mobilizing? We are. That's a very good thing. Next research will be done in a few weeks. And then life is good. Oh, nice. They can't stop the press. Life is good. The Raiders have a base of operations and plenty of slaves, and we're living a life of relative luxury for the wasteland. More political power, multi population, recruitable population factor, and political power. Pretty good. And we're now at 20. Oh, look at that. Looking so much better. So, so, so much better. I could clear that stuff out, but we're going to wait first, maybe. Maybe even more stability? Spell the Rift F. No, we can wait for that then. Um, cultural advisors. There's really not much here. Outside battalions would not be bad, but we don't really need that for now. Veteran training instructors, more organization, life is good. But it can be better. Well, sitting around eating however much we want and taking whatever drugs we want is nice, it feels a little complacent. We just start asserting ourselves over the region by pushing the nuclear out and claiming their territory as our own, which we kind of already are, so... Yeah. Can you guys actually do that? You should be able to do that now. You can pierce them. They do be looking a little thick over there, so our attacks are not going very well. Hopefully we can inflict more casualties, so they'll have no manpower. Yeah, these attacks are just really, really bad. How do we get them to attack us, then? Holy cow, that is insanely bad. How strong are Mirelurks? They're not that strong whenever I played as Mirelurks a long time ago. Okay, so we got to wait a long, long, long time to win. Okay, on the back of slaves, build an empire. We have to continue our expansion northwards to keep our momentum going and showing how p powerful we are. Yeah, this kind of sucks, I'll be honest. Um, do we have enough guns, perhaps? Yes, we do. We have enough anti-tank as well. Well, we can throw on more infantry. And can I throw on just these two? Okay. It's good to know. We're out of manpower now, which is not very good. Go ahead and cut him back down. Because we have to make do with whatever we have right now. Maybe we can make a few more planes? Maybe? I don't think it's going to help us out that much, especially if they don't attack us. But on the back of slaves. Our slaves are essential for our growth and development. Alright. Tribal Reformation. Well, they've up to seven divisions. But they can't do anything against us. But we can't do anything against them. So, and doing this would be kind of a waste. Even if we were to force the attack. So their base value is 20. Hardness is 25%. Piercing is 5. Um... Yeah, we can't do anything against them, so that really sucks. Uh, well, I guess we'll go with imp improved uh, obstructions and stuff, so I'm not really sure what we can do here. This is really, really bad, but Nuclear World Empire. We've shown our power and can now claim the mantle of an empire. The only way left to go is up. Alright, so then we just kind of have to hang out here then. There's nothing we can do, and we basically have to wait for them to attack us. We're going to research more, probably dynamite. We'll probably get some dynamite. We'll probably get some other things, so yeah. This is definitely not the way I wanted this episode to go. Clay working? Um, that wouldn't be bad. But how about we grab some for sisters for more research speed? Okay, we became an empire. Oh, do we not finish the other thing? Maybe we did. I can't tell. I don't, I don't really care. Okay, cool. The take care of Connecticut. We could go to war with them, but we can't do anything yet. So, Fistop Mountain. The Fistop Mountain was apparently a significant attraction for Nuclear Town, USA. And it's plenty of room not only for the dis disciples, but the overboss himself. Clearing out won't make any of the disciples happy. It also provide lodgings for overboss, which is a pr pretty good thing. And here we are, everyone. It is now November 7th, 2276, and it looks like it's green for us right now. Uh, we've, they've lost, lost 125, we lost about 340, but we have a couple focuses to go through, including weapon experiments. 
right now. We've got a bunch of slaves sitting around. Surely we could do something fun with them. We might even get something out of it, in which we've also done the Nuka Market. Before we arrive, the traders in Nuka Town set up a prosperous market, now that the town is ours, however. We can use the space in the market as we wish. We should also make sure that none of the slave market sites can escape. That would be unfortunate with Cappy's Cafe. Yeah, it's an old cafe with apparently excellent burgers. We can keep some of that spirit alive by setting up a... <clears throat> Seedier operation inside. Drugs and alcohol may make the raiders rowdy, but also bring in more caps and allow us to expand our operations with the Nuka Cade. The Nuka Cade was apparently some place where people could go to play all sorts of games to win lame prizes. The raiders have already started replacing the prizes with something they consider more interesting. It seems like they may keep some of them entertained, at least for a while. There's also plenty of space for all kind of things we could set up for, too, here. And also, I made these guys 20 combat width, and it also does help that these guys... And we did force the attack, like, we force the attack that these guys are now 20 combat width, so... That does help out. And, oh, and we do have a few planes too, don't we? Yeah, we are. We have 11 planes. It's not much. But it should go okay. Improves, improved obstructions. Very nice. And I think we'll go with Decimation. Because it hurts our population, but... Legion Tactics using Nuka World Raiders. Why not? And let's grab some encoded signals. Cool. Come on, guys. You've almost broken them. Even though you've probably suffered a lot of casualties yourself. Come on, come on. Oh, we got it, boys and girls. We got it. So let's get us, uh, our guys some more max planning. And go ahead and train a few more divisions here, too. So we don't lose our manpower when we get this one done, which will lo make us lose manpower. So let's hold. And then we will attack them with more force attack. Why? That is because... Um, uh, everyone's got to attack. If they cannot move or get more organization, then they, they have no choice literally but to die. So it's going to be very costly. Incredibly costly. But it is a cost that we must bear to completely defeat these pieces of garbage. So, And as you can see, they're just dropping. Well, to a degree. We've got two divisions so far. Keep forcing it so we do not stop attacking. And more works. Ooh, workshops. Slave fighters. Ooh, we can use more population. Though. We're still mobilizing, technically. Um, hmm. More workshops. Our new equipment requires more workshops to produce. We have to make sure every raider is well armed and prepared for a fight. More workshops mean more weapons, and everyone wants more weapons, right? So after this, I think I'll just go for war with these guys. Oh, wait, we can already go to war with them. Oh, the Sons of Liberty, right? Yeah. All right, not bad. Uh, is there anyone else we want to take out? Obviously, these guys, too. But do we have a land? I don't think we have any land access over there. So if that's the case, then we could probably go into here to White Mountain as well. So maybe we'll wait. Save our peepee. -pee, get ready to core stuff. Do some occupied territory stuff as well. Pacification. Let's grab some outside battalions for even quicker stuff here. Let's go to Welcome Army. We have all sorts of things we could do. Civilian stuff. Um, let's do it. Why not? And grab some of this so we can actually build some fighters more quickly, which would be very, very good. How are we doing? Force it. Just force it. Up and see. That's how we do it. We lost 1,900. We lost 700, which is not very good, but in the end, it works out for us. Uh, how strong are these guys? Oh, thank you. We'll take everything you've got. Dinamite, we probably should have gotten that before the war even started, but hey, it is what it is. Nice. But there's always a solution, it's almost always a solution, not always a solution, but almost always a solution. Get some more research speed because we could really use it. Now, we can get a fourth research slot if we keep focusing down this way. And with Beverage Labs, which I think next, as much fun as this stuff is, ooh, less gospel, way less gospel, slightly less reliability. Factories, infrastructure, we get power armor too, huh? Okay. Armies up and running, get more division speed, organization, and recon. Slave fighters, less organization, but more population. A lot more population, actually. Land auction, vehicle tech. I think I want to do children at heart, maybe. Even though we're vicious killers, we aren't... Aren't we all just kids in our hearts? Well, <laughs> maybe not some of us. Oh, well, we're, we're... Look at that! We already have radar! Oh, yeah, that's right! We got through our focuses. I swear I know what's going on. I swear I do. But how much would it take for us to core this? That's not much. That looks really, really good. Local workspaces, finally. So that was the one I was missing before. Let's grab some more basic tools. Nah, public projects. We need more output. Definitely, 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 definitely more output. So this is looking a little bit better, but children at heart. Very nice. And what we shall grab next... Blood and Sand. Dry Rock Gulch is a park designed around a period remarkably reminiscent of some parts of the wasteland. You get a whole one civilian workshop arena, which is not too bad. How many more days left? we got six days, and I have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm. We have a lot of stability... War support, look at that, 100% each. Not bad, not too shabby. Alright, so at this point we can go to war these guys anyways. I don't think this is going to do anything for us, so we can just kind of hang out and close that. Tributize the Plague Hounds? Why not? They can tributize, big guns, big money. Big guns, big money, big happiness. 
All right, we don't need drastic measures. As you can see, I kind of had to reload the game because I made a mistake. Now, if we just go to war with these guys... Oh, they actually go to war with us. Oh, they try to beat us up first. Okay. They have up to nine divisions, maybe. Um, I'm actually surprised they actually did that. I mean, it's not like we're super, super strong. I mean, we are looking a little weak here. So, maybe save a little bit of manpower for our divisions once they're done battling. Um, Hillspire is not doing too bad. And Henry Coburn's not doing too bad either. Okay, and they stopped attacking, and then they started attacking again. I'm kind of okay with this. How much manpower do they have? And of course, this is not court territory either, so we don't get a defense bonus. And they're almost out of manpower themselves. Blood and sand, very nice. Oh, oh, support. Wait, support robots to get more soft attack and production. Stability? Production cost goes down? Oh, infantry defense, King's Coal Castle. King's Coal Castle is an imposing edifice. With a bit modification, we can make it an appropriate fortification. That sounds like it should be very useful right now. Oh, yeah, they're definitely doing some damage to us. Definitely, definitely, definitely doing some damage to us, but they're out of manpower now. Um, what are that? Vice City. Advance. If you like to read by the rag staff candle shop, please go right ahead. It looks like we're probably out of manpower. That's a big thing here. Manpower. Um, oh, let me keep going, guys. If you want to keep going, okay, let's get some more defense. Welcome to the jungle. Oh, we get doggos. Someone probably should have reminded me about that, which you probably did already in the comments. Uh, okay, welcome to the jungle. The safari adventure park used to be filled with life and animals. There's not much of that left, though. Maybe we should make some. I'm going to record this already, though. 0 0.9, 0 0.2, 0 0.5. Eh, it's not going up that much, which kind of sucks. Bison pacification, of course. We still have quite a bit of resistance and up, non outside of battalions. You know, let's create an agency. Uh, I like this one. Raiders. We're really raiders, though, so let's go with this one. No, I like this one. Sneaky dudes for now. Welcome to the jungle. Uh, Anaconda Construction. Before the war, a new section of Safari Adventure was going to be built, while a lot of the remaining construction equipment is damaged beyond repair. We might be able to jury-rig some of it to work the way we just wanted to. And we're done mobilizing, which is not very good when you have zero manpower, so... For now, cut that down. We need to share the wealth of men. Probably some slave fighters. So apparently, arming slaves is a really bad idea. However, those... Some those more violent and sadistic among the slaves may prove useful as a kind of intern raider. If they prove themselves, they might just make the cut, and, f and if they don't, well, who cares? 2% more population, 10% more recruitable population factor. Who doesn't love it? Alright, so we have 97 versus 600. Not bad. Pretty good. And how much does, how much will this cost us? That, oh, that's not bad. Just, we need more manpower for it, but that's not a bad thing at all. Not a bad thing at all. They must be mobilizing more and more. Now, I wanted to get these guys just so we could start getting some uh, spies. And it might be useful for other divisions. Man, they are really just attacking all gung-ho like. Well, if that's the case, how about we grab... Well, let's grab Life Giver. I don't want to lose too many divisions or too much manpower here, so that should help save 8% more, technically, or something like that. So, primitive radios sounds good to us. And how about Coburn? Nothing here? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Hey, he became level 3 and 3. That's not bad. He was level 2 and 2, I think. So, tributes tax him? Well, let's say no. They probably say no. We could get more uh, stability, but I think we'll be okay for now. They're really attacking. Battle for Hoover Dam. The fate of Mojave lies in the balance. Oh boy. They just went straight to war. Okay. And a word of refreshment. Civilians, factories. That's not bad either. We could use, actually use a manpower though. Land doctrine. Train the raiders. Well, the raiders are generally brutal and savage. They aren't exactly disciplined. They're excellent for fighting poorly tr organized militias and lone wanderers, but they're going to struggle against a properly organized force. We're going to have to fix that. And even more manpower. Sign us up, my friend Arenos. Aw, oh, yeah. And we'll go with the wedge formations, because we just got lots of recruitable population factor. So basically, the national focus we just did doesn't give us any more recruitable population factor. It still gives us more, you know, population to use. But, okay, whatever. We get 15% more, more breakthrough. Oh, so nice. Public projects after this one. And then we'll do... Probably clay working. It sucks having only three research slots. It really, really sucks. Wow, they're really killing themselves. But that we're okay with that. Keep going, guys. You're doing a great job. Hopefully, we can core this very soon. Ooh, yeah. Former department. Very nice. And who do we want? Kirby Bernard. Thomas Jenkins. I don't... Kirby, just because you remind me of that little pink thing from Japan. And we'll do it against the Minutemen. You never know. They might fight us. You never know. How much money do we actually have? Oh, I don't want to raid right now. 155, that's not bad. That's not too bad. We still need more manpower, though. We're still mobilizing, though. That's good. That's kind of nice. 
Now, I probably just want to attack there. They're looking pretty weak. They're pretty defensive, though. Oh! Wait, Faction of West Virginia. Federation of West... Oh! Oh, the Enclave is moving out! Symbol of Unity, look at that! Good luck, all y'all. Okay, so this one is Hills, which sucks to attack into. And this one is Hills, which sucks to attack into. And this one is Hills, which is pretty good to defend. Okay. Air technology, vehicles... Um, civilian workshops would not be bad. Uh, Galactic Hero sounds like a lot of fun, actually. Um, we need one of everything, so... A world of refreshment. There's a whole part of Nuka World that was dedicated to creating Nuka Cola. If only the machine still worked. That'd be very nice. Can you actually just do that, maybe? I'm gonna say no, because fighting it at hills is really quite unfortunate. If we force the attack, we might be able to actually increase that number, maybe. Yeah, it's going to be extremely costly, though. But you know what? Like everything else here in the Wasteland, it's pretty costly to do business. Do we have anything else other than these planes? No, that's all we got. We do have 43 planes, so that's pretty nice. Go, go, go. You guys are doing a great job. Oh, 72, 73. Oh, boy. That is really, really flipping costly. They're slowly probably mobilizing a little bit more. World refreshments. Oh, corruption, Nuka-Cola world. Eh, that sucks. Uh, bottling facilities. Well, most of the equipment used to make Nuka-Cola seems damaged beyond repair, we might be able to salvage some parts to create our own smaller scale production. Not a bad idea. If you force it, you just win. Okay. <laughs> All right. The Sons of Liberty are ours. Very, very nice. Now I'm going to split you guys in half. Now that's very costly. Man, these, these wars have been quite costly. Chester, Chester Washington. Welcome. I'll send you three to stay right here. And I'll send you four and go right there. There you go. That should be good enough. Because now I should have I should have justified earlier. Because I want to get to White Mountain for the Plague Hounds and I want to beat up the Minutemen. Oh, 135 days. That's not too bad. We definitely need more manpower though. Oh my goodness. Brother, uh, oh, okay, so. Alright, not bad. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. We got plenty of equipment though. That's pretty good. Bottling facilities, how we do an actual river of Nuka Cola. One of the most amazing things about the world of refreshment is that they have actual river of Nuka Cola Quantum. The best part is we think it's safe to drink. Great. Great build. Core. Feel good about yourself sometimes. Sometimes you need to. Man, trying to get more compliance really sucks. It's really bad here. Wow. Every time I see loot, I think of treasure in TNO. I have, a, I have a problem. But, alright, so we need to do this one eventually. More states, more controlled states in 12. Wow. Actual river of Nuka Cola. Clone animals. We'll do open the tunnels first. Underneath Kitty Kingdom is a series of tunnels that's apparently for the employees to use. They probably don't need them anymore. It's probably very true. Uh, Tulchinski, just keep making more stuff here. Keep making, 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 making. And when you're done, make some more, which would be nice. Oh, oh the Enclave did it very well. Hopefully, we don't have to fight them because the Enclave is probably very difficult to beat. Oh, Raven Rock. Look at that. They then have cores, which is good to see. So, open the tunnels and then cloned animals. Interesting, one of the machines we found in Safari Adventure seems to be a machine for making animals. It's inevitable that we break it and can't fix it, but we can use it for a little bit. Followed up with Mad Mulligan's Minecarts. Oh, Minecarts. One of the old rides is a coaster themed as a minecart ride. If we take it apart, however, we can use the minecarts for our own uh, purposes. Moving stuff around our territory faster than ever before. Oh, we got a radio too. Radio. Radio done. Oh, that's nice. And I'll go and grab some simple circuitry. Might as well, right? And we got the mad, mad mind cost followed with old fashioned cowboys. Some weird old robots are wandering around Dry Rock Gulch, claiming to enforce the law and asking if we want to explore some weird old places. We can repurpose them to fight for us and enforce our own laws. Which. Not bad, but. I like the stability. I'm not sure what we can really do with this though, since we're not really focusing on robots and we're raiders, so. Can we get raider robots? That'd be kind of like fun. That'd be a lot of fun. Ah, Clay working in a lot of coffee. Hmm. No wonder I can't sleep at night. Which formations? Followed up with cane formations. More defense, soft attack, and heart attack. I love it. Old fashioned cowboy arenos. And Nuka, Nuka World Empire is very, very nice. Oh, we're getting closer, 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 closer. That's really... 3,000, that's really not much at all. The core? We don't barely get anything from that, but that's alright. Um, you guys, we don't have that much longer to wait. 
They don't have that much manpower. I can't imagine these guys have a lot of populations. Oh, it's double than what Rutla is down there, but the Galactic Heroes. We've managed to save the galaxy. Well, the Galactic Zone, at least. And get a whole nother civilian workshop. Not bad. Not bad. Followed up with Galactic Robots. Eh, we get 500 units of Mr. Han Mr. Handys, but Galactic Scrap. The remains of the Galactic Zone are filled with lots of scrap, trash robots, broken rides, and strangely intact computers and computer cores. Not bad. We currently get 1.62 political power every day. Not bad. We get some more with a circuitry and scrap metal. Very nice. Very, very nice. Ah, very nice. Very good. I'm trying to rush towards that um extra thingamabob down south. Research slot. Research slot. Research slot. The RS. Oh, we're not even close yet. All right, so be it. Galactic Robotics. The Galactic Zone has many robots that we had to deal with in order to clear it out. However, we managed to turn a few intact ones to our side, and some of the others are less damaged, and it shouldn't take too much work to repair. So we get the robots, get more 10% more soft attacks, there's nothing to laugh at, and even better production costs. I don't even have robots researched. Like, man, we don't even have it researched yet. Can we do it? Ah, uh, there we go. Slat, oh, there we go, some manpower. Now that's going to take even more time, but that's okay, because we can go to war these guys hopefully very, 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 very soon. Uh, it sucks not having any sort of, you know, divisions. Or manpower. Oh, we can, okay, we're done building? I don't think so, son. Uh, that's not a core, but go and do that first. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That's why we need to take out other places so we can get more population, get more industry, and all that sort of good stuff. We should be able to go to war very soon, though, right? Yeah, tomorrow. Cool. Can we actually just go straight in? Maybe. We might actually be able to. Well, maybe not. Alright, so then, power play. Now that we control all the parks in Nuka World, we should focus on reactivating the power plant that kept the park running. If we can manage it, we should get some enormous amount of power. Sounds like a good idea. Well, it looks like we're struggling all over the place. But if you guys struggle a little harder, you might actually be able to break through. And if you guys struggle a little harder, you might actually be able to break through. I just need someone to win over here somewhere. They're out of manpower, so... What's more ground crews on? 70, we might, yeah, we'll, we'll be able to break through here, hopefully. I thought these guys would be able to, but apparently not. So just hold for now. Break over, break over. And we have done it. Okay, that's good. Hey, they attack us. Now we can help out over here. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Guys, hold on, hold on, hold the phone. Get some planning done. And then I'll let you go crazy. And we still can't raise this up. God dang it, that really sucks. Ship stuff doesn't matter. Military Academy officers wouldn't be too bad. Oh, they're actually attacking us. Look at that. They waste themselves on us. Uh, we might do non core manpower, but even then, that's not really really worth it at all. Uh, we need to be elites for that. We, we are rulers. We are quite the rulers. Cast and bombers. I would like to use that. Air equipment technology. And we got the, the PP for that. Might as well. And Beverage Labs. Activating the power plants opened up access to some new parts of Nuka World, including a laboratory apparently built for creating new varieties of Nuka-Cola. We can use the lab equipment for our own ends. Sounds good, and we'll go to Far Harbor. Acadia? Okay, information. Let's do cold personality. Better walking infantry defense and special forces stuff. Resistance growth and speed goes way up. So, I mean, I'm not sure why I'd choose the other side, but I didn't, so... Now, with seven divisions attacking here, we should do relatively okay, right? At least that's a hope. And hopefully we can um, get some population here, too. Okay, we can't win there. Hmm, that's not very good. Y'all suck. Okay, so send half you guys over here, then. Of course, the general isn't as, isn't as experienced, but let's get some military signing bonuses, too. That'd be kind of nice. How are we doing? We're still building, building. Oh, yeah, they still like attacking. I want them to attack here, though. Simple circuitry is pretty good. Let's grab some radio and basic machine, basic tools. We'll go with metalworking next. Because I would like... We, the biggest limit we have right now is manpower. Which is... Oh, so not bueno. Oh, we need more states. I really want to attack here. But what are we missing besides man... That's just it. Just manpower. Hmm. Not good. Beverage Labs, another research slot, and don't stop there. While well, Nuka-Cola is finally now firmly under our control, and some of the factions around us don't feel our presence enough, let's change that. Decisions to expand our outposts and our neighboring countries will be unlocked. Oh, that's cool. That's really good. Okay, so do they have any manpower to themselves, or... No, they don't. So, that's okay. Okay, whatever. They just attacked. Now we can counterattack, which would be good. 
Hopefully. Everyone for the war machine. There we go. Just got to counterattack at the right time. And for the love of God, please let me get you guys done. And then you guys are going to get attacked, which is fine. Whatever. Probably. That's okay. There you go. Get some planning done. That'd be fine. Everyone hold, hang out, do whatever you need to do. Totally fine. Um, new system secure package would not be bad. I'm just waiting for this so we can core this. It would not be bad. Over here, it would not be bad to core this as well. Far Harbor. They have about 1,000 manpower. Really more like 1,500 probably. And up to 6 divisions. Not too bad. Hmm. Caps are worth it. Wow. That's a lot. Level 8 already. Wow. Hopefully they attack us, but if not, we'll do the same thing that we did with the Marlurks and just, just, just bombard them with our bodies. Alright, and then we'll do uh, more than guns. Although guns are the easily most useful possession for a raider to have, it's important to recognize that other things are useful too. We'll need to ensure that we can properly work our slaves as well. Ah, uh, work them we will. Set up outposts in the minimum. Demands from nuclear world. Oh, we can do Acadia maybe eventually. Wait, how strong are the Minutemen? Uh, less than a thousand man. Oh, no, that's about right. You yeah. know. If we don't have to force the attack, I would much prefer that. But let's see what happens. So their organization is dropping quite a bit, which is good to see. Our organization is going down as well, but... You know, oh, they, they lost a division, they lost another one, they lost maybe two more, one more, and we didn't have to force the attack this time. Very good. We got him. Nice, not bad. Ah, Plague Hounds, thank you for playing. Yeah, Nuka World is not as easy as I thought it would be. Then again, is anything ever really super easy? Probably not. But... Take more weapons. The Wasteland is a good source of weapons of all sorts, including the ones we kept by other people. If we figure out the easiest ways to find guns and parts, it will make keeping our stockpiles full easier. However, the guns we find might not be of the best quality, as most are just lying around, exposed to the elements. So, that's fine. I, I know I left time going on for that one. It doesn't really matter, though, so. Not bad. And where are we for compliance? Not good enough yet. Just really not good enough. A little bit of resistance here and there. Yeah... Outsider battalions are always so nice to have. But my goodness, it could be better. Let's go train our soldiers for what we have for now. We have six guys are No, our guys are all trained. That's good. Um, we're going to need to throw something else on our soldiers here probably too. I'm thinking maybe another support company, but we've got to keep going with our land doctrine at all times. A breakthrough 15% is going to be very nice. Uh, what else do we have here? Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Make more weapons, nice. Make more armor. Power armor is one of the most useful and important weapons any prospective raider could ha dream of having. Collecting whatever we can find is going to help us loot and pillage to our heart's content, which is a very, very good thing. Oh, we could probably go down here. Give them more organization, why not? Can we core this yet? God darn it, why can't we core that? Decryption is very good. Metalworking, let's grab some of this, because these are really quick, and then we'll get some more support company stuff. Probably doggos, because that helps us with recon, maybe a little more soft attack. Even though saws are pretty good as well, these guys aren't going to be easy to beat. But we do have some planes. We do have some planes, which is nice. We're going to kill these guys, but then we have to split up our army quite a bit. I don't want to really split up our army just yet. We need to make at least one or two more divisions before we do that. So, standardized tools. All right, let's come back over here. And, actually, we could do some upgrades. Raiders. I want to go with flamers for these guys this time. I oh, don't forget this either. Help put down resistance so we can get more compliance more quickly, hopefully. That'd be nice. Yeah, 84% is not too bad. Make more armor. Follow it up with, get stuff working. To make sure everything and everyone is where they need to be, we can make sure that the paths are clear and spaces are available. And what gutter caps the traders can't get to you. Everyone's, oh, everyone still gets infrastructure. That's pretty nice, actually. That is actually really, really nice. Don't even worry about that stuff yet. Frequency analysis. Um, it's 145 days. Let's grab some of this. Some backyard workshops. We can make more stuff. I mean, supply-wise, um, we got more than enough stuff for now. The big thing is just manpower. New England area needs more manpower, man. So much more manpower. We need to make some doggos first before we do that. 
Profits from the drug trade? I love drugs! I'd love to do that, but we'll have to wait and see. And how much long do we have to wait for these guys? Oh, we can go to war with them whenever. Do they attack us at all? No. Oh, that's gonna be difficult, isn't it? Hmm. Four to eight. That's a lot of manpower they do have, so. Falling off the bad staffers, not bad. Yeah, I got some more research speed, anyways. How many divisions do they have? Oh. We try something like that. Could you win? Especially if you all force the attack. God, I gotta stop doing that. But it's so effective sometimes. Oh yeah, if we just take Far Harbor, that's all we probably need. And again, they do have some victory points up here. Yep, that was not too bad. Get stuff working. Follow it up with... Engineer Flyers. Some of the more insane of the eng of the raiders seem to be infatuated with the idea of not standing on solid ground. Perhaps we can use them for some military purpose? Hopefully. Hopefully, 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 hopefully. Come on, let me core, 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 core. Come on, we're so close. We're so close. Ah. Uh. Oh, we're so almost there. I can almost taste it. Oh, we got him. Oh, that's nice. Take him out. Not bad. Not bad. Hey, we got a dockyard. I'm not going to use it, but thank you. How many men have we lost? 25 versus... That's not bad. They've taken four times more casualties. Pretty good. Pretty darn good. And here, it's slowly going up as well. Oh, we just cut them all off. Nice. They have lost 1,400. Not bad, my friends. Oh, I don't want to fight these guys. I kind of really don't. But we're going to. We're going to. All right, so we need one, two... Was that it? Two? How many waterways? We have two. Oh my goodness, that is not good. Um, we're literally going to need at least one more division here. Probably, maybe? Don't really want to risk it with what we've got so far. Inspirational. Yeah, we got to go that way. And Gunslinger for more defense. Uh, you might actually be able to do okay by yourself, maybe. What do we got here? Set up outposts. So two and two. That should be able to hold, hopefully, maybe. Mm, that's that's pretty cutting it pretty close. Uh, you know what? We're going to do this one so we get some more compliance gain. I, I want more compliance gain no matter what, but en engineer vehicles. Well, running around on foot and shooting them things is fun. Sometimes you need, you kind of want to, you know, rest your legs. Plus, vehicles are probably faster than running around, right? Probably. Probably. Demands from Nuka World. I mean, if anything, these guys can come down here to help out if they're not getting killed, but... We'll see. They refuse their outposts. Minuteman refuses to grant his outposts, but that won't stop us. The outposts aren't optional, are they? Prepare for war. Oh, yeah. Not bad. We do have a little bit of manpower. we got to keep that in mind. We do have a little bit of manpower. Compliance is 49%. Not too bad. we got some of that, too. Let's grab some doggos, like I did say we would get. And get some uh, flamethrowers. Ah, I like it. Some, some like it hot, as some would say. Oh. Nice. Planes, not looking too bad. Actually, we've got enough for 50 more planes. Awesome. No cast this time, but that's all right. And... And again, some like it hot. This is on the little wrong side of the continent for that, but whatever. Okay, so with extra planes here, we should do relatively okay, right? At least I'm hoping so. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, the Minutemen. Okay, the Minutemen are guaranteeing their independence. I thought they were... That was, that was the other way around. Oh, they're going to take the castle, too. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Go right ahead, guys. And then we'll do military engineering for more soft attack, hard attack, more max entrenchment, and entrenchment speed. Now, they're going to immediately begin attacking us. Well, you guys are going to immediately begin attacking them. You should be able to win down here, especially with planes and such. So, we do have a small amount of uh, manpower here. So, don't worry about going up. Just go to Peter's Borrow. Man, tribute? Nope. Alright, so you guys can stop doing that. Engineer vehicles, and the army's up and running. This used to be just an army of raiders, and now they're better trained raiders. Oh, well. I'm sure some of this has rubbed off on them. More, way more speed to organization reconnaissance. Yes, please. Uh, you actually might be able to do okay right there. Okay, win at Concord. Concord. Brotherhood of Steel. Oh, boy. No, you guys can't win, it looks like. Please do not get encircled. That'd be quite bad. Alright, we just got encircled. God dang it. Force it. You guys hold. Alright, that's not too bad. Get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. Go, 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 go. Um, you guys hold, actually. Let these guys come on in. 
and you guys hold as well. We'll get these guys. We'll get them. There you go. And if anything, we encircled another division. See how it works out? It just works. It just works. Uh, we have it all under control. Don't, totally do. Totally do. 28% ain't too bad. All right, we got it done. Now we gotta wait for this other division to move around and get up there. All right, so it's not looking great. We've lost probably about less than 100, not bad, 500, not bad, not bad. And two divisions there. I just don't think we can beat them up there. Here, we don't have two divisions as well. Hmm. Stonks, bull, maybe bear, not bad, not bad. Hum. I still have quite a few divisions. Okay, let's pull you off. I'm gonna put you guys right here then. One and one should be okay. That should definitely be okay. And then minute. I mean, technically we already did that. So yeah, okay. Grab some refined tools and uh, is that it for the focus? Oh no, we saw this one too. Take care of Connecticut. Connecticut is a prosperous settler nation to our south and can be useful to us. Could be. As you guys are moving up there, man, you take a while to do. Wow, they have a lot of divisions. Who knew? Anyone have upgrades? No, okay, that's okay. And we've got more compliance here, a little bit more. And I know I could split, probably split this into two, but man, whatever. It's all good. Let them attack us, attack us, attack us. Yeah, I can just throw you guys right there too. One versus three. Okay, take care of Connecticut. Work with New York. Eat the Big Apple. Uh, New York, once a prosperous pre-war city, is now just another settlement of settlers going around doing settler stuff. Let's live in it up a little bit. Oh, we could go to war with those guys, but there's no, nothing really else here. We've already reclaimed our empire, technically, so... I don't know if it's really worth doing all that. Actually, I don't mind. Maybe you guys going like, oh, right here, maybe? Could you actually win right there, maybe? That'd be kind of nice. Could you actually do that? Maybe train mongrels would be pretty good as well. Maybe get some better trained mongrels. Maybe make some trained mongrels. Yes. 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 Very good. Very good. It'd be a shame if we cut him off here. Oh, wait. Oh, no. That's all just one big old tile, huh? That sucks. Eat the big apple. And that's it for the focus tree. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Come on. Move on in, guys. Move on in. It's basically free real estate. 77%. Not bad. Um, oh, there you go. Get settled in. Force the attack. Kill them off. Do the best you can. Go straight for there. And force defense. No winning, no losing. Oh, and come on in to you. Complicated circuitry. Let's grab some... Uh, no, that's a little bit too ahead of time. Ah, plant cultivation. Wow, the division might just die there. Okay. Well, that's my fault. Oh, 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 we got it before they died, I think. Oh, we barely got it. We barely got it. Oh, my goodness. Fall of Vault City. 81%. Hey, crown and a jewel. Jewel and a crown. Look at that. The Nuka World Empire is looking pretty good. I mean, at this point, we could continue doing this, but I don't really see too much of a point. We finished the focus tree. We could keep going to war and expanding and doing stuff like that, but we've already finished, finished our part of the focus tree, even though there's one, two, three, four, five other routes. There, we could potentially, eventually, take. But we're still the Nuka World Empire regardless. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in a different episode. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.